Put it all the way down just about. And still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just I'm coming back, baby. And something really to take into the lockers here. Gano for the extra point. Well, you know, I'm going to go for two. I'm going to go for two here. Put it all the way down, just about. And still put and the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just I'm coming, coming back, baby. Something line. really to take into so the lockers here. Elias, man, what's up, dude? Elias, thank you very much for the sub. Will stay out there. They're going to line up and try for two. And boy, again, they won't get this off in time. That's going to set them back five yards. I'm going for two, man. I need to come back. I, I was down 17 and nothing a minute ago. It's kind of funny because the Patriots are down 17 and nothing in the real game. I'm I was down 17 and nothing, and now I'm coming back here. This will be the final play of the half. Vic Stop. Get in there. Yeah, but two. And he is into the end zone. So they get two more on the board here just before halftime. Got the two, man. Look at that guy. I froze that guy. That was hilarious. Gold now out to kick it away. What's up, everybody? What's up, Marvin? Marvin, what? And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may Man, Sanu just. Is that Sanu that made that catch? Out. That was a hell of a catch. No, it was Dorset. Dorset, great catch. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter. What's up, Thomas Bison? Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gold. You guys get the alert? You guys should be able to put 720p on. I had it set to a very low audio setting, uh, video setting. So just uh, re refresh and change your stream settings if you want. I had it. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. And the Patriots just lost the ball to too. That sucks. So guess what? You adjust your they were doing well, coming back. The you are looking for some and they blew it again. In this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. I'm coming back in my game. I'm more I'm worried about my game. What up, Robbie Hyde? What up, Mike? So statistically, both of these offenses have a rough time getting a running game going. Thanks to Elias, man. 21 months sub. Elias, thank you, man. We're live on Twitch as well. We're live on Twitch also. I got the Patriots game on right now too. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching. It's a tough game as expected. Said this would be the toughest game of the year so far. That's exactly what it's been. Couldn't have nailed this one anymore. What happened to my face? What happened to my face? I can't believe my hair is gone. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's funny. Oh shit. MWM. Baby face Cronin is back. Mako, what's up, ma'am? Thank you for the hundy bits. 
15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Some think the team we got to really stop this guy. Unless you have a receiver has a lot of stature. Mako's uh, taking that top bit spot on Twitch right now. People can't really locate him. Check him out on Twitch. He's on he's slant, unloading. And oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Garoppolo now. 11 to 15 through the air. Here's first and 10. There's Garoppolo to throw. Completes oh my god. Side to the tight end Lewis. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. That throw good for four. It's the Dolphins were the Dolphins fans are celebrating like they won the Super Bowl. That's hilarious. That's pathetic in many ways, but hilarious. But he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Yeah, Leah's not happy, but you know what? Leah hasn't been uh, you know, enjoying the beard a lot, so figured why have one. Patriots challenging this because it looked like an elbow was down. An elbow's down, bro. Oh, my God, dude. An elbow's down. Yeah, baby. The runner is down by contact. Challenge. Jerk me off, challenge. Boom. What's up, everybody? Wind up nine after it and running, so it'll leave Joe, you look like Fred Durst long. now. <laughs> the it's pretty funny, man. I didn't want to shave my face until I lost about 30 pounds because I felt like I've just been so... Uh... Oh, oh, no way he caught that. No way. Super Chat. Party. Steve Kalan. Hey Joe and Chad, hope you're having a great night. Thank you, Steve. Uh, I'll put you on top with that two dollars, man. Thank you. Thank you for that, man. I'm having a good. I'm having a pretty good night. Um, pretty good night. I figured I didn't want to shave until yeah, until I lost like 30 pounds again. But then I was like, eh, you know what? Oh, intercept that, yeah. Saw that coming. Just get down in the end zone. Man, Lamar Jackson's a goofball, though. You know what I mean? He just fucking runs every time and acts weird. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've uh, Okay, it's connection problem, so my time keeps click ticking. That was ridiculous. So here's Vic following the interception. Pretty good play there. I'm coming back, man. I was down 17 to nothing. I was down 17 to nothing. I need to come back. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? Not much any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. Dude, I need to turn You're this announcing off. I'm, I hate Something the announcing in this game shallow, right now. Going through defenders, oh, fucking no one picked that guy up. Fumble! Fumble! In there to sack him for a loss of six. I don't know if he's down. He might be down by contact too, but right now I'm going with fumble. I file it away because I'm use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. New England on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Yeah, he might have been down too. I think he was down too. Here's Michael Vick. He, was, de he was definitely down. And he'll get to the 29-yard line block down there. The Ravens are down, just it's like the Patriots were down. Up, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. I hate running quarterbacks, man. I just hate it. I don't know what it is. Well, Lamar is pretty cool, though, because he's smart. I'm going for it on fourth and one. Oh, fuck. I'm going to have to burn a timeout. God damn it. And now before they run this play on fourth and one, we're going to get a break and a timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respect. Oh, wow. It was a fumble. Lines. Jesus. Wow. We'll I thought he was break. down. 
I missed Super it, maybe. Jet. Super Jet. It's Bullsy. Is it Bullsy or Bullseye? It's Bullsy. What's up, Bull? That yeah, fucking icon. <laughs> that icon is uh, legendary. I can't really go for it here. What am I doing? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. Want some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. Imagine if all the wrestlers got the shit beat out of them by the Saudi soldiers while Vince was flying away muttering to himself that's such good shit. All jokes aside, <laughs> thank God they all got home safe. That's the last country I'd want to be stuck in. Yeah, I would not want to be there, Robbie Hyde. Robbie, thanks, man, for the three bucks. I am punting the ball. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll kick it away for the second time. Now Sanders. All right, we got to stop him. Yeah, hell yeah. What's good, Joe? A lot of fart marks on Instagram. Boston Bruins are 10 and 1 and 2 best starts since 19,291,930 history in the making. Show the Wrestle Daily Instagram and Botch Club myself and the Wrestle Daily do a live show with you. Let's talk. Go, Pat. Yeah, we really got to get that going, man. We are going to get that going, no doubt about it. And the Bruins, man, they are on fire right now. Botch Club. Oh, man, what a horrible cover. Botch Club, thank you so much, man. Toxic Joker, thanks for the resub. Four months in a row from Toxic Joker. Thank you, Toxic, on Twitch. We're live on Twitch and on uh, YouTube right now. Get out of that, Brady. Get out of that. By the way, um, check out Botch Club on Instagram, man. Oh, that was a great play. This is horrible. I gotta stop a touchdown. I got, I can allow a field goal, but we can't we can't be allowing any uh, anything else. I gotta go. A I gotta start blitzing more. Uh, Botch Club guys, go to Instagram and check them out. Give them a follow. You will not be disappointed. It's at least a couple videos a day of entertainment on Instagram. You follow all kinds of other dumb stuff, probably. Oh boy, this is not good. Wow, that was horrible. Man, from coming back from 17 down and then fucking giving this up, that just sucks. Wow, I can't believe Brady threw that ball. Why in the world did the Patriots not run the ball, man? I don't, I don't know what's wrong with them. I'd run the ball. I don't care what they think about the running game. I'd throw a pitch, throw a toss backwards, whatever. If I was the Patriots, I would have ran right there 100%. Or look at that. Brady could have run it in if he had wheels. What is Brady doing? I mean, he whipped that ball so it couldn't be intercepted in a way, but that was dangerous. That was real dangerous. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball. This is blitz coming and down he goes. Aiden catch up with the sub. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. All right, this is bad. to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. From the shotgun, it's Vic. There we go. Wide open receiver complete. We got to go score, get the ball back to them, call some timeouts, stop them, get the ball back, score again. It's that simple. I don't care what we got to do here. Even if I got to take a field goal to preserve the time, get the ball back. 
We'll have to take a field goal if that's the case. Now here's Vic. And Olsen over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past Let's the Let's go. 50. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend, but don't break it. Are they bending too Get to the outside. There we go. I'd almost kick a field goal right now. I think I'm going to throw... I'm going to throw one more pass, kick a field goal, give the ball back to them, and then try to score the touchdown next. I mean, maybe I could try to score the touchdown right now, but we'll see. Yeah, hit that like button. Uh, Steve Kalam, what's up, man? We're live on YouTube and on Twitch as well. Twitch, what up, Twitch? All right. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. I'm kicking the field goal right now. So look at this. They'll go for a field goal now to get within a score. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. What the fuck was wrong with that kick? What in the fuck was wrong with that kick? What's the what does the replay look like? I, did I not nail that? What the fuck is wrong with that kick? And when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, set this What in the world? Oh man, I missed the bottom bar. Was my A button? There's either lag or there's a problem with my A button. What in the hell? One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Well, this game's fucked. Oh my god. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Back to throw, Garoppolo. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one -off. Adam Vinatieri is on my team. Adam Vinatieri won us two Super Bowls with his foot. I wish Adam Vinatieri was back. Gaskowski is out injured. What's up, Matt? You wanted the the goal is is a hundy, I think. I don't know if we're gonna hit that tonight. 16. We'll find out, man. The goal's up for you guys, like you always. Uh, people always like the goal. So there's the goal, baby. I don't know what's gonna happen on Sunday night gaming. It's early. I started early tonight. We'll see how people like the early start. Seems to always be better when I start late for some reason, when I start around 10 or 11. But we'll see. If it, if it doesn't go well tonight, we'll start at 10 or 11 next week. We'll find out, Mike. Uh, Guskowski injury don't cost us the playoffs. Yeah, that will not. Now I'm not worried about that at all. I, I mean, dude, the kicking's fine right now without, with, uh, would they bring in Nugent or whoever we brought in instead of Guskowski? I'm not worried about that, dude. I'm worried about the fucking offense. I'm worried about the offensive line. I'm worried about why the receivers aren't open. That's what I'm worried about. I'm not worried about the fucking kicking. Why is that guy just standing there looking at him? You know, why was that guy just standing there looking at him? Uh, maybe, maybe PUBG later. Yeah, maybe. 
Uh, we'll see. I don't know if the alerts are going out or what's going on. Extra point try now for Walsh. Uh. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Ah, uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three yard line, right? When you'd line up, go ahead and, oh, there's a fake. And now he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15. The risk reward is just not there. It's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. <laughs> That's darn right. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. So this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. Let's we'll see what they do here. Now whistles and a timeout called here. Not sure of the point of this. The, the, dude, the NFL games predictions the last three weeks have been insane. Like, the, you don't know what the hell is going on right now. That guy intercepted it with one hand. Dude, that guy went with one hand up in the air and intercepted it. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Hey, maybe Ray, Ray, Ray Lewis will kill and rape somebody at the game. Oh, boy. That was a messed up game. I still got to change my name to Brady Six Rings. That game sucked. That game sucked. Toxic Joker, thanks for four months subbed in a row, man. Um, what up, Big Merc? Give me some of that. Give me some of that Big Merc. That's right, I shaved my face, man. I look like a psycho now. Look like a psycho. All right, one more game. Let's see if we can win this one. Maybe Rice will come back to the Ravens and do some more shit that will get him in trouble again. <laughs> what up, baiting ketchup? Yeah, some crazy shit. I'm I actually I live in Foxborough, but they're not playing in Foxborough, Mike. He was like, "Oh, you're gonna have a lot of traffic today." Ooh, that was a knockout shot. Boom. Lay with the helmet. <laughs> yeah, it's the explosive uh, lead with the helmet tackle that gets that penalty called. You could tackle him and wrap him up there. But, like, diving head first with your helmet and then connecting with his, you know, if he'd hit him in the chest or somewhere, he might have been all right. He would have been fine, but there's just kind of no need to tackle that way. What a catch by Edelman. Edelman went up and grabbed the ball. He doesn't catch that. It's an interception. What a catch by Edelman. The Patriots are running down the field now with a minute left in this half. Holy shit. Do I still talk to JD? No. Why does everyone always bring that stuff up? Does every does like how do people not know about this stuff? I mean, I've I've texted him before where we've like said things to each other, but we're not really friends. Oh my god! White. 
Going upstairs. Holy shit. The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball down. Tom Brady's going throwing the shit right now. These receivers are going and getting the ball too. And these are small guys. White and Edelman, I mean they're just going around the field like wide receivers. Wow, this guy quit, I think. Wow. Am I going to get a DNF for that? I'm going to get a win for that? That guy quitting? Crazy. See, right now I'd run the ball. See, now I'd run the ball. You got two more timeouts. They're stuffing you in the red zone. See, I'd go with the shovel backwards, man. Just run a sweep. I'd run a sweep or something right now if I was the Patriots. Run a blo couple blocks, run a sweep, try to pound it into the end zone. Because they're going all pass. Yeah, and they're all covering the shit out of Edelman. Fuck that. The Colts finkled the game-winning field goal, yeah. That's why people have been bringing up Adam Vinatieri, huh? But, I mean, come on, man. Vinatieri never misses, too. Like, that's crazy. That sucks. Laces out Sanchez. Is that who's kicking? Oh, no, that's who's holding, huh? Man, the, I, dude, if I was the Patriots right now, I'd run a, I'd run a just. God damn it! I don't know what I would just. I would have ran the ball by now at least once. I can't believe that they're not running the ball at least once. I don't care about the defense, how Super good they are. Super chat party. Run a draw, something beforehand. I would run a draw now. I'd still, I'd go for it on fourth down. I'd go for it on fourth down. There's a, the Patriots have one more timeout. I'd run a draw right now or run some kind of sweep and then throw it on fourth down. Fuck it. The laces were in. Is that serious? Are you serious? Like, I did not see it. I'm going to be watching the recaps and everything later. Steve Kalan, baby. Steve, thanks for the dollar, man. Oh, Canada. It's weird, yeah. Last week we had 250 people watching. Tonight we might too. It's just early. It's very early for this stream, you know? Yeah, see, the kicking is way, way better again. There's the run. There's the run. There's the run. And he almost got in the end zone. I'm going for it if I'm the Patriots here. See, there's the run. That's the play I was looking for this whole time right there. He almost went in the end zone, to be honest. He, tr he tripped on his own then swam in almost. He got touched, though. Man, oh, he slipped on his own guy. He would have been in the end zone. If he didn't slip on his own guy, we would have scored a touchdown there. Intercept it. Intercepted. What's up, man? What's up, Jester? Big Mercs here. Right there, he's touched. Right 
Olsen. Oh, man, I'm in the end zone. Forget it. Is this guy really quitting already? That was it? That was enough for him? He quit again. What the hell? He quit again, man. He quit again. I was, dude, I was out working on so much shit today. Like, I was trying to fix everything today. I was all fucked up. You can't, you're not going to be able to tell if he touched his back there or not on the replay. Jose Torres, what up, man? What up, CKY Dunn? How about the WWE, man? What is going on? All the rumors about the plane and the flight and the holding and the Vince McMahon abandoning everybody and it's it's fake news, it's real news, it's a lie. Players' wives saying they were held hostage. People just saying it's a simple plane issue and they had to switch. Other people saying there was something going on. It's fucking weird. It's weird. So much weird shit. Nobody wants to play me. I don't know what's going on. Arknolia Strokel Bean. I'm not sure they can determine he was touched or not, so it's probably going to be down on the one yard line. That's what I thought. They may go with a QB sneak, man. The Patriots may try to QB sneak it. Oh, no, they're going to go the field goal. Wow. I totally thought the Patriots would go for it there. Wow. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. I mean, they'll get the ball back at the half, too, so maybe they figured get the points, whatever. The veteran kicker, Robbie Gold, set to get us started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. This will be fielded on the What's up, everybody? And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. I think Sean's probably too busy, uh, you know, banging some guy in Fall River or something like that. You know? First carry for Nick Chubb. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game. Early. Man, if you're the Ravens, you got to be pissed that you squandered that huge lead, you know. But happy that you're still winning, so. I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has a sense of what holes are going to be before they actually open. I think it'll help set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. <laughs> Muhammad Abdel. What's up, man? <laughs> Smackdown was a 10, Joe. Yeah, dude, what the fuck were people smoking on Friday? People are like, oh, Joe, you just hate everything. I give it a 6, and people are like, oh, you just hate everything. What are you talking about? Then they were like, it's a 9 out of 10. Really? It's a 9 out of 10? What the fuck are you watching? That was so retarded, dude. That pissed me off that people were that dumb. I mean, I thought it was one of the better episodes of the year, no doubt, because it was so weird, but it wasn't that great. You know, it was still just an invasion angle that was just whatever. NXT people show up, attack people. Big deal. We've seen that a million times. Like, okay, cool, but it's better than what they normally do. But it was like, come on, bro. We had a great main event match. That was cool. I'd, I'd even go 7 out of 10 if you want. 7, 5, whatever. But fucking people saying it was a 10 out of 10 and 9 out of 10. Dude, just fucking insert AIDS in your own self and hope that you die slow. 
I mean, come on. Like if, if people were like, oh, you know, it's it's been so bad. This was so much better than normal that I'm going to give it a, you know, a seven or something like that. I get it. That's cool. That's fine. I can understand that. You're so hyped out. Maybe you thought it was an eight, you know, I don't know, but they didn't have the, they were, if they had one awesome segment, like kind of like the Jericho Cody breaking the window, going up into the stands, like all that funniness that went on at AEW, if they had that moment type of thing, um, and they had had that Daniel Bryan, Adam Cole match. Then I probably would have given it like an eight five or a nine, you know. Then I would have given. Then I would have been like, "Wow, this was fucking awesome," you know. Then I would have really buffed up to an eight five or something like that. But pretty much it was all just NXT people show up, attack, show up, attack, show up, attack. So, you know, it was a good show. Seven out of ten, six out of ten, whatever. I thought maybe it was a five out of ten, but then as I went through my notes and I started talking about each thing that happened, I I settled on about a six. I think I said. So good stuff. That's a thumbs up. For me, a six is good. I mean, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is all pretty good, you know. What's not good is a five, a four, and then certainly not a three, two, and one, which is what we've been giving these shows. In four, you know, a lot of fours. This pretty much, you know. So to give it a six is like, well, that was better than usual. It's just a lot of stupid WWE suck ups. I'm really mad that I missed MLW the other day. I, I'm really pissed about that because I I thought it was tonight. I don't know why, what was going on, why I thought MLW was tonight, but I did. And, uh, yeah, so I missed it. JD is really a fucking idiot if he came on himself, man. That guy is fucking, that's retarded. He's really that impressed by, like, just NXT people coming up and attacking people randomly. And this, like, mini invasion angle. Like, it was, come on. What a weird fuck he is. It was better than anything that happened mostly this year. But, come on. God damn it. Why did I just line up off onside? I mean, I'm not saying I'm right either. I, I think some people might love it so much they gave it a 7 or 8. Fine. But 9 and 10, when you start getting into 9 and out of 10, 9 or out of 10 out of 10 or 9 out of 10, like that's Super somebody's a, a fucking fool. I got better point. butt cheeks than Becky Lynch. Really going to fumble the ball? Really going to fumble the ball? We're really going to fumble the ball. What the fuck was that fucking dumb fucking shit? Why don't they review this shit? What the fuck? And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one. You fucking year. kidding me? Fielding a kick. You don't hear tuck it away, tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time they turned it over. Ball security eluded him. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. He's to the team. That was retarded. This is fucking retarded. Getting the sense Charles are gonna put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes that. Why do people complain about Lugie uploading highlights of Raw and SmackDown? Are you a fucking faggot idiot? Because anybody else that does that would have a copyright strike and their channels would be taken down. But she does it because she's a big nosed Italian bitch who sucks someone's dick at WWE. Don't be a fucking retard. Blow up fucking 69 pop fuck. Yeah, and so and these guys when you're 
seeing the option defensively, you got to stick to your assignments. I know that's cliche. They didn't do it there. And option football means oh, this is going to be a short night. Football for defenders, and that drives them crazy because you have to think your way through a play as opposed to just reacting and making the play. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and ten. Just look up Joe Villa from WWE and fucking he probably sucks Lugie's pussy hole. There's a good fucking play. This shit started with a goddamn fucking fumble. Yeah, she's got permission, all right. Permission to suck cum. Yeah, she acts like everything WWE does is a 10 out of 10. Because she's paid by WWE to be a fucking fake idiot. Like, how do people not understand that, that she's paid to do this? Really not in there? Yeah, you know, I was. I said, man, like I said, I've been saying it all year. You don't have to be a fucking Nimrod to fucking listen to me. I said the Ravens and Patriots would be the toughest game of the year for the Patriots. We wouldn't really have a real game until the Ravens game. Here we are. It's nothing shocking to me at all, you fucking cum-sucking fuckbag. This fucking retard asshole on Twitter is like, Hey, Joe, how you like this Ravens game? You thought it was going to be a walk in the park, huh? I guess you didn't watch my fucking show all year long because ever since the day the schedule came out, I said, look, the Patriots have a walkover schedule up until the Ravens. You fucking fuck-sucking faggot. A little bit of the bubbly. That's it. What's an episode of Raw or SmackDown that you remember that would get a 9 or 10 out of 10? Um, give a 9 out of 10? Like, I'd give, like, the episode where, like, Mick Foley won the title, like, a pretty high score. Way back in the day, Robbie Hyde. I honestly can't even remember. If you, if you went back and watched my Raw reviews, though, from the last five years, you could probably find one 8 out of 10. I think maybe. Maybe. And you could probably find a seven, a couple sevens probably, and uh, you might be able to find, there's a good amount of sixes for sure. There's a lot of six out of tens. Um, and then over the last couple of years, there's been a real lot of four out of tens. But yeah, I can't really remember, to be honest. You'd, I'd have to be reminded or something. It's so fucking old now. Uh, Robbie Hyde, baby. Robbie, thanks for the three dollars, dude. Yeah, back back in the old you know times during the old SmackDowns and things like that. Really, you leave that guy open? At least they knocked the ball out of his ass. Because that was going to be ridiculous. What's up to Twitch? We're going to be going over to Twitch later on only. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be going over to Twitch only in a few minutes, everybody. On Twitch, you may be seeing ads on uh, Twitch tonight. I'm testing the ads out. We're going to be ho hosting some streams. We may even do a Tuesday night throwdown on... Uh, Twitch as well. 
coming up soon. So we're just I'm just testing the ad revenue out there to see how it does, how well the ads perform and things like that. Uh, Jake DeMarco also said Crown Jewel was good, man. He gave it a 7.5 out of 10, so that's not surprising. I thought Crown Jewel was half half good and half horrible. So it was like a mix. Really? So not only do they get the fumble recovery on the punt, really? Really, dude? You don't pick up the ball like you know, twice? Dude, this game's a piece of fuck right now. Fuck this fucking game right now. Fuck this whole fucking thing. Fuck this game. Oh my god. Because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, it still definitely hurts. Here's Come on. Oh my god, you can't hold on. To it's like you get an interception right there and you can't fucking grab it. You big dumb fuck. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now, there could be a letdown. Oh my god. Fuck off. Yeah. MLW is great. When Jim Cornette left MLW, I sent them like 900 emails. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I heard didn't hear anything from them. MLW. Yeah, major lesbian wrestling. Elliot good on the extra point, and the lead now stands at 13. Elliot now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to uh. do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. second down tough running there that's a hard earn four yards yeah those are the unsung kind of runs they don't fill up the stat sheet but they do set you up in good position on second down a run for nick chubb and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started call it a loss of two on the play and just like that it's third down It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves them looking at a fourth down. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now Jake Elliott for the field goal try. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that will swell the lead to 16. 
They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now it sounds like things back balance out right what's that that mythological thing that we do if you have a candy bar have a diet soda with it, it balances oh boy it and we know that's not really true right because the interception that sting lingers a little bit longer gotta come out now and put together some nice plays he finds his man the tight end also that one goes for 24 yards when you're struggling on offense you're looking for anything possible to get you going Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Now a play fake here on first down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him, they've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why Sanu does look good, man. He's looking like kind of covering for Gronkowski almost like. Flea flicker. Sanu again. Now Cohen. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. The tackle there by LaMarcus Joyner. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. On third down, that's Cohen, and he is tackled inside the 49, quite to the 35. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Vic operating on first down. And Jones has it over the middle. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Fucking picked the wrong play, goddammit. There's Vic. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Goddammit, you know what I love to do? Patriots get a score closer. Terrific. Touchdown. I know we've got a game now. Yeah, I think anytime you go to the second half down just one or two scores, you feel not where you want to be, but in a pretty good spot. And I think for most teams, when they go into the half in this situation, it's not a lot of adjusting going on. It's much more, all right, guys, let's just play a little bit better than we did in the first half. Extra point try, good by Godot. And that will get them one closer. Oh, man, I think he's down. I think Edelman's down. Gold now out to kick it away. I think Edelman might be down. Ball comes out, he gets it back, and then he goes down. Oh, maybe he's not down. They will not get a chance to return the, As, uh, the ball is out. Yeah, it's a touchdown. A the Madden Elite's heading back God damn. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot Jesus before Christ. the runs out. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. That was fucking retarded. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27. I'll tell you what, if the Baltimore Ravens somehow lost this game and the Patriots still won, like, who the fuck would beat them? Because this, like, the Baltimore Ravens should absolutely win this game now. Like, there's no way you don't, like, if you if you can't win this game, like, that's insane. Look at this interception. Oh, 
Uh, it's too bad there was no time on the clock. What's up, Buttons? Man, this fucking day, this fucking game. Both these games. Here we go, I'm about to get it, man. Here we go, about to get it, man. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, oh no! OMG, Joe, why shave you look so different? What's up, Magpul Mike? It's funny, everybody always says, man, shave your fucking face. You look like a fucking idiot. And now it's like, oh, what do you, what, why'd you shave? You look like an idiot. <laughs> like, it's like, what the fuck do I do? Mag pull Mike, that's the largest donation, I believe. Thank you, Mag. I don't know, man. I did it. I figured, you know, Leah was kind of like, you know, I did it. I kept it. I kept it because I kept that shit fucking on my face because, like, Leah was always like, I like that, you know. But, you know, last few weeks, four weeks even, I felt kind of like she couldn't care. So I went, all right, well, fuck this. I'm going to shave this then. Uh. A first down throw coming for Vic. Buying time to his left. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't. I should do blackface like Tommy. That's not a bad idea. And now he made it a very manageable second and short. What's up, John Wills? What's up, John Wills? Hey, John. Dude, the Patriots defense helped the Patriots like they always do, and then the offense goes, ah, oh, fuck it. We're going to hurt you. Why couldn't the guy, whoever Y was, why couldn't he cut across the middle instead of coming back past the line of scrimmage almost? Like, why would you do that? So they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now, with what they're telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field, sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. That and good tackling can lead to no yards gained. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one good for 17 yards on fourth. Couldn't ask for much more from your offense there. First down. All right, I'm going for a deep shot here, boys. And it works out. Benjamin with hands of glue. Wow. Talking about calling the shots. Uh, I was live with the UFC coverage yesterday, man. That was nuts. Dude, UFC ended like the Hell in a Cell match. It was nuts. I'm going play action now. Let's go play action. Uh, to the end zone. Got it. I believe. Patriots offense is looking really good right now. If only they hadn't fumbled that last time. Super Jack. 
Hope Undertaker returns and retires. He's old. Yeah, I mean, Ivan Rodriguez, I mean, he should have done that a few times already, it feels like. Pudge Rodriguez, man, with the donation. <laughs> What's up, Ivan? Ivan Rodriguez. Rodriguez. What's up, man? Rodriguez. Thanks, man. Detroit Tigers catcher chiming in there. It's okay. I'm a famous baseball player, too. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession. What up, Matt? And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back. Hey, John. Vincente, yeah, he it was a it was a technical fight there. Look, I thought, and then everything kind of changed. He dropped that ball, man. I thought he was gonna drop it. He did not. You're gonna run it again. I knew it. I wasn't covering for a run. I should have been. Oh, man, I got a blitz. I feel like I got a blitz every time. Oh, man. So close to getting that interception, but I had to change. I had to go back to covering the man instead of going for the interception. Oh, get it. Yeah, we got it. Come on, we got it. Did they really catch it? Oh, my God. How did we not come up with that ball? Second and goal for the Patriots. If I'm telling you, man, if the Ravens lose this game, like, wh what do you got to do? I mean, the Patriots don't play much worse than they played this almost the whole first half. Remember the, I mean, remember the fucking, the Falcons Super Bowl? <laughs> like, I mean, that was probably, once you've seen that comeback, you just kind of like stick around no matter what, you know? All right, this guy wants to play. I'm down by two. Patriots come back to 20 to 24. What a game, man. I, I told people this, man. I was like, get ready. This game's going to be nuts. I mean, everybody knew this, though. I didn't tell anybody anything. Everybody told everybody. Everybody knew this game was going to be crazy. And into the end zone out of nowhere. Slips through. Wow. What's up, Chad? How you guys doing? How's everybody doing tonight? I hope everybody's having a good Sunday. Um, what's up, boys and girls? Um, just having some fun, hopefully, tonight. Magpole Mike, thank you, man. Got the two points. Thank you guys for everything uh, during the week, all week this week, for all the shares of the videos, all the likes on the videos, and all the um, comments you guys left, and for just being everybody who's become a patron to check out the Patreon, uh, to check out all my podcasts that are in audio form on Patreon, um, all that shit. Got a little bit of an ad coming up on Twitch, guys. Shout out to Twitch. We're live on Twitch. We'll be live on Twitch uh, exclusively in a little while. Um... Thank you guys for all everything all week long. Sunday nights, unless there's a pay-per-view on it, it's always Sunday night gaming where I just come on here usually and play some games. Uh, we're a little bit early tonight. I started a little bit earlier than usual. Normally, I kind of like to start around 10 or something like that. Definitely started really early tonight. 
And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches? A lot of, yeah, I see that. Term, complimentary football. <laughs> offense take care of the defense. Defense take care of the offense. Um, that happened on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can. All right, we got to hold these guys now. RVD's been talking a lot of shit about about AEW. He hasn't gone there though. I think he he's just playing up his heel persona, you know. Oh my god! Let that guy slip through like that. That was nuts. What a fucking kick, man! That thing hung up there for a while. The Patriots are gonna tackle him at the 15 because of it. It popped out. Oh god, I almost lost my mind, guys. I'm sorry. I yeah, man. What's up? The ring broke on RVD. No, I haven't seen that yet. I was working all. Uh, this was one of those days I took off again to like clean up. I was so much work to do around the house and stuff. Oh my god, that should have. He, why did he throw that ball? Yeah, it's cold in New York. It's cold in Boston, man. It's the same thing in Boston. It's just cold. Shit. All right, let's go. Uh, you know what? Let's go in a quarter with a spy. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here we go now. Darnold from the gun. Johnson with a completion over the middle. All right, let's see if he goes for it here. He's gonna. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. That was a nice catch, and if the goal was to get in the field goal range. Intercepted. Oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Could use an interception in the real game, too. Great tight end catch there for the Ravens. This guy really going to quit? Oh, I thought he was going to quit, too. That was a good throw, man. Good throw by uh, J by uh, the quarterback of the Ravens, Jackson or whatever. That was a good throw. Because he hasn't really had to show that he can throw the ball much at all this whole game. That was probably one of his best throws of the game. Oh, see you later, man. Oh, man. I probably could have been gone if I didn't spin. I don't know. The Jets lost 0-7 to seven to the Dolphins. <laughs> Man, the Jets suck, bro. What in the world? I mean, the Dolphins. <laughs> I mean, like, what is going on? <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Oh, man. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Despite the late lead, Vic's going to throw. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock 
God. The Jets gave the Dolphins a win, yeah. That, well, that's, I told you that the Jets quarterback's a fucking idiot. I told you that. Keeps rolling. This defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown. It's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score and this game's over. They try again with Cohen. It's a pickup of two, and that's good enough to just. I think this guy finally is going to leave. Knock that ball loose. Make him throw something stupid. A Patriots game, man. I, this Ravens Pats game is no joke, man. I, I knew it. I circled this game at the beginning of the season, if you guys remember, and I said, man, the Patriots have a pretty easy schedule. I don't think they're going to get a real game until Baltimore, and I think most people said that. I think most people said, like, until Baltimore, you know, I don't know. And But but at first, at first people had the, the Steelers game We've circled, too, though. we got a new though. Twitch follower. We were worried about, Hell you know, yeah. Pittsburgh's going to be my hard. Pants off. And then the uh -huh. Patriots just shit on fucking Pittsburgh. Shell 204, thanks for following me on Twitch. What's up? Um, so, you know, I think I did. I was kind of like, what's going to happen with Pittsburgh? It's going to be tough. All right, let's see what happens. But we all had that Baltimore game circled. And here it is, man. Here's the fucking Ravens. Uh, better, than, better than expected in some ways. But yet, so, as solid as expected, and you know, we've got a every new week Twitch they, follower. Every Hell week they yeah. kind of just take my pants off. Justified uh, uh -huh. what we everybody thought that they were going to be a real contender here this year. So pretty crazy. And they're going for it, four and four. Wow. Pats always have it easy. Did you watch last year, CK? What the fuck are you talking about? The Pats had to beat like some of the best teams last year. What the fuck? What are you on drugs? The Patriots had it easy last season. You're on fucking drugs. The Patriots had it easy this year. You know, just go around and dump coffee on people, uh, Bison. Yeah, I mean, even the Titans. The Titans beat the Patriots last year. And yeah, we We've beat, we beat Kansas Twitch City follower. twice. Hell yeah, take my pants off. <laughs> 49ers have an easy schedule this year, too. The 49ers and Patriots have, like, the easiest schedules. And they're, they're undefeated, both of them. Look at these fruitcakes. Speaking of Titans. How does the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away? Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will stop at the 23. Shell 204, thanks for subbing to the channel, Shell. Shell, 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 shell. I don't know if it's that shell. It's a different shell, probably. A different shell shock. It's got to be, it's me, Ryback, and I'm going to shell shock you. Wow, here comes the Ravens, boy. Patriots can hold them to a field goal. That's pretty fucking awesome, but this is... The 
beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. A second down throw for Pitt. And he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. All right, partner, I'm well, this is an ugly start. Right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass, followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathed a sigh of relief on that sideline. On third down, it's Cohen. And hell running right through it. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Wow, they like they just shut me down on that first set of downs here. I was I was just shut down on everything I tried to do. the offense thought they might catch the defense off balance with that play call, but Wow, and then I'm gonna win the game. What a fucking idiot. What is going on tonight? Oh, that was so tough. Yo, Shell, what's up? Shell, it is Shell. It is that Shell. What's up, Shell? Ba 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 bum. Actually, Shell didn't dis. I don't think Shell disappeared. I think Shell's been here. She watches every show. I know Shell watches every show, so she didn't really disappear too much. But she kind of like laid low. I I would assume. What's up, Everyday Jam? We're back, baby. I started early tonight. It's weird. Whenever I start these gaming streams early, I feel like it doesn't work out as well. Like, less people get the alerts and things like that. Um, well, we got four games in a row won, so that's cool. That 29-23 and 23 game was nuts. That was a comeback. Started the night off with a fucking lost, no doubt. This has been crazy. How's Twitch doing? What's up, Twitch? Uh, Green Monster, you can use your Prime Who's account to sub. got a new Twitch yeah. follower? Hell yeah. Take my pants um, off. I think you just uh -huh. hit the button or whatever. You should just be able to hit the button. I don't know. Or are you going to go to... Uh, somebody else knows in the chat, but you just got to go to your... You got to go to the sub button, and then I think it gives you an option to sub. I think you got to be on Amazon, though. Logged into your Amazon, maybe. But it's free to sub. Yeah, it's free to sub on Twitch. If you sub to me on Twitch, you will not see ads, I believe. So you won't have any ads ever uh, during the stream. You'll just get, you know, you'll never see ads on Twitch. It's free to do it for you. So if you do it, it's free. You won't get ads on my channel anymore. And I get paid. So you get me paid, but you don't see ads and it's free. So if you have Amazon Prime and you haven't used your Amazon Prime subscription for somebody on Twitch yet, which is free again... Uh, do it. I mean, I'll get two, three bucks and you'll never see ads on my channel. So fuck it. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. I wouldn't call what I had a beard anyway, but thank you. Yeah, I did cut it. Oh yeah. Is everybody on Twitch? Are people on Twitch seeing ads, by the way? Probably going to see ads every once in a while. That's probably what will happen with Shell. She got it. She subbed, so she'll get the, the deal. Man, I appreciate that. What's up, John? Yeah, dude, I, I was, got a I new was Twitch thinking about follower. it, you know? Hell yeah, take my pants off. <laughs> we are live on Twitch, so I appreciate the follow, uh, CJ Hawk. The old, the old Madden card, look at that, that's cool. Shit bomb! Sorry if I pissed you off, but fuck the Pats told him, oh man, I hate our coach. Titans N word. <laughs> what, Ryan? Sorry if I pissed you off. Fuck the Pats, though. 
Um, Ryan G, thanks, man. Wait a minute. Why would you piss me off, though? You didn't piss me off. I wasn't mad at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Thanks for becoming a $5 shit bum, though. Big run back to start this game. Yeah, Ryan, dude, I definitely am not mad at you. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm never mad at people. And if and if you piss me off a little bit, that's that's good because at least you got maybe you got me to flip out, you know. Wow, the Ravens missed the field goal. That hasn't happened. He hasn't missed all year. Wow. That was a close borderline call too. Damn. Yeah, I'm not pissed at all, man. It's I don't really get pissed too, like really. I mean, dude, what am I gonna be pissed about? The Patriots have six rings. You know what I mean? What the fuck am I gonna be mad about? I've seen the Patriots blow a perfect season. I've seen them lose to Philly. I've seen them lose. I've seen them win six rings. Like, I mean, this doesn't get any better. I'm not pissed for sure. <laughs> Look at that throw. Oh, over the top he goes. Holy shit balls. Shell, thanks for telling me that. Shell seen ads on Twitch. Who's the bits leader on there? Uh, is it Sith Negan? Oh, no, that was last week. Sith Negan dropped a $25,000 uh, 25, bit bomb last week. Not dollar. Jesus Christ. Uh, M.W. Mako. Yeah, he's topping it off right now. Oh, man. Shit. Vincent Valentine, man. What a name. That is the greatest name. Vincent Valentine. About to come down the aisle. Vincent Valentine. What a name that is. That's a great name. Vincent Valentine. Like Vinny Vegas. Oh, look at that, man. Whoops. Right through the door. Right through the door goes Cohen. Somebody opened the door and he jumped in. Ivan Rodriguez. Ryan G, thanks, man, though, for the donation. Ryan G, I've got herpes, Ryan G. Ryan G. Have fun, man. No problem. Have a good day. Oh, shit. I fucked that kick up. Still might have gotten away with it. Oh man. Trying for Brown and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. Oh, and now he pulls him over. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is That was that was crazy, man. I, I that was that was wild. The second it was leaving his hand. The Patriots offense now. They worked their way back onto the field. Um, I like Oakland, man. I like the Oakland Raiders. I mean, I don't. Li I mean, like, I'm not a big fan of them or anything. I just always thought they were kind of cool looking, yeah. But uh, I mean, I, I always liked how the Raiders were just badass. You know, they were just nuts. Am I not in the end zone? Am I seriously miss the end zone? Oh my god! I can't believe I missed the end zone. Unbelievable. 
I like I like Mohamed Sanu, man. Sanu is good. I thought he'd be good, and I liked that we got him. We knew he was good, but very happy with that. He's kind of like a wide receiving Gronk right now. You know, we needed somebody like that. Sanu's cool, man. I like it. Sanu again in the game with a catch, man. Yeah, dude, I think that guy's cool, man. I think he got, I think he got typecast or whatever for his, um, whatever he did. I don't know, man. He's a good player. He's a good guy. He's a little, he's cool, man. Brady just threw a, threw a, a wobbly piece of crap. You don't see that normally from Brady. He underthrew and just wow, that was ugly by that was the worst ball Brady's thrown all year, maybe. I mean, besides an obvious interception at the beginning of the season. That was yucky by Brady. I think he thought maybe Sanu was gonna come back and get it. That could be the only thing I was thinking, but I would if he threw that hard to the outside or hard up and, and out, Sanu would have went and grabbed it. Very strange. I think that's the communication. I mean, maybe. I, I, Oof. Brady is on his last legs, uh, Jerome. What up, Jerome? I mean, Brady's never had legs, you know? <laughs> he really can't run. When I played quarterback when I was younger in middle school and stuff, and in a little bit for a second in high school, but when I played quarterback, I was always running, man. I always loved running because I should have been a halfback. Wow, Brady just throws up. It looks like a prayer interception. Go touch him. What are you doing? Don't overrun him. You got to touch him. God damn it. That's not bad by Brady, though. Brady knew what he was doing there. He said, fuck it. I'm going to heave it up. And if nobody fucking catches it, because they were going to they were going to punt after that. You know what I mean? So fuck it. Throw, heave it up. Nobody's going to catch it. It's going to at least be uh, intercepted way back. Fumble. Fumble. Go. I don't mind that by Brady. I mean, they get the ball at the 33-yard line now. You know what I mean? That's not that bad. I mean... Whatever. But that sucks, though, man. The Patriots might fucking... They fucked up. Patriots have had chances to come back, like, a lot in this game. And they just keep not being able to do it. And like I said, if the Ravens lose this game somehow, like, I mean, what the fuck do you have to do? Like, what are they doing? So, um... I, I almost... I'm, I'm really glad the Patriots are getting this type of game right now. Because Belichick is going to have to coach the fuck out of him after this. Like... Here's what we do against the fucking the running quarterback, the scrambling quarterback. What in the hell? Oh, the guy quit the game again. Wow, we are just making people quit like crazy tonight. Jesus. God damn, man. That's crazy. Yeah, Brady just kind of heaved it up like, fuck it. And get the undefeated shit out of the way. That's true, man. That's right. The Patriots win the, can win the Super Bowl when they lose a couple during the season. Ah. Oh, there goes another one, everybody. People on Twitch might see an ad in a minute. Rage quit again, Elias. What's up, Elias? I, th I feel like Brady knew that was getting picked. I mean, he just whipped that. The safety was, like, way back. We got the Eagles. Yeah, the Eagles going to be a tough game. Uh, Dallas is going to be a tough game. And we knew the Ravens are going to be a tough game. We circled all those as, like, hey, there's the real games. There's the real games. 
The fucking games that we played, the first seven games of the season were retarded. I mean, the Steelers we thought would be tougher, but we just butchered them, and then they turned out to be garbage dick. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. We're on a five-game winning streak right now. Five-game winning streak. And I got to piss. What's up, guys? Would you be happy Joe Brady goes 19-0 and and retires? Uh, yeah, if that had happened, if they had been able to do that. I don't think they're going to win this game tonight. I mean, maybe they will. They can come back and win, but this is going to be a tough game tonight. I mean, come on. 19-0, and I don't believe that that was ever going to happen. You could see the the trouble they were having with some of the crappy teams, you know, even Buffalo. Buffalo is like a pretty a pretty decent team that has holes in it. And the Ravens are a team that's like a really pretty good team that if elevated, they could win something. So, you would think that if the Patriots struggled with Buffalo and only won by 6, that they would struggle more against the Ravens and here we are. So, just logical. You know?
come get some. Come get some dick. I'm back, motherfuckers. All right, we're on a one, two, three, four, five game winning got streak. A new Holy Twitch shit! Follower. Hell yeah! Take my pants off. <laughs> we are on a five game winning streak. Can you keep happening, baby? Can it keep happening? Guys, you got to check out Botch Club on Instagram. Please, please go. Follow Botch Club on Instagram. And the Wrestle Daily. If you guys like all wrestling updates and fun videos. The Party. Botch Club. Botch Club, the Wrestle Daily. Show the Cronin world. I can't actually show it right now because I don't have my... Uh, don't have access to my thing, but I mean, I, oh man, the Pats are fucked. Pats are fucked. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Botch club. Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones. Turnover, special teams play. Nate from VA, what's up, man? Yeah, you know, I love spicy food, man. I just love the, f I really love spicy food, but yeah, I can't really do spicy. I mean, I I can, but I just don't feel good at all if I do it, you know, now. Nessa. What's up, Nessa? We're in the Superdome here, huh? Joe, what am, what am I drinking? I'm drinking water right now. What up, Dick? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I just swallowed the water down the wrong hole, man. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. Blow on my poop pipe. Jesus. Um, and a nice gain and a, and a broken tackle along the way. And really hey, Nessa, what's up? That's what runners do, especially the I don't know. Shoulder pain sucks. Uh, neck pain's horrible. Either one is bad. I had to have gotten the first down there, right? Holy shit. We got a lot of a, lo a lot of people in the house tonight, man. We got nest a lot of women in the house. What's going on? I can feel the I can feel the uh the feminine vibes going on tonight. Nessa, Shell, Denise, Tiffany. I mean, just it's unbelievable. You know the the yeah the the older I'm getting the worse the spicy foods are for me but like I keep it's like I love it so it's like it's kind of a mess. Ooh. Um, what's up, Shell? Uh, Leah, Leah's up playing while 
Leah just got all the kids to bed a little while ago. Or actually, it's been a while now. It's been about two hours. Uh, she gave them all baths and stuff. So now she's, uh, I think she's finally, Leah cleaned the entire house today, was raking the front yard while I took care of the backyard. And I'm pretty sure now uh, she's playing World of Warcraft finally. Wow, I did not want to hit the throw button. I was not trying to hit the throw button at all, dude. I was trying to hit the fucking throw away button. That was dumb as shit. Wow. This is a mess, man. I am on a five-game winning streak. And I just threw fucking the ball away. Wow. This is retarded. Jeff Harbaugh is loving this. Harbo, Harbaugh, whatever the fuck his name is. He's like, yay, I'm beating the Patriots. This will be his, like, like biggest win of the regular season. And then they'll go on to lose in the playoffs. Classic fucking Jeff Harbaugh fucking stuff. You can't win. I, I just feel like you can't win with this type of team. You know? But they're playing pretty damn awesome, as expected, man. I thought maybe the, I thought maybe the Ravens could win this game today, like twenty-four to seventeen. I didn't expect a thirty to twenty score, though. That's what I did not expect. I might have an outlet to Olsen here, and nope. Wow. It gets blocked, of course. Wide open. Wide open, it gets blocked. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try to Jesus. knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one goes for 24 yards. We've got a new Twitch follower. Hell yeah, take my pants off. Thanks, Seth. <laughs> now a play fake here on first down. The left side completion to Jones. Give him 30 yards there. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches um, the ball, <laughs> this is the end result. Big yard yeah, Nate, I agree. I think, he, I think he's good. He's really shifty how he can do all these different things. It's just really hard. I mean, who knows, though? You never know. You know? You never know. He might do it. Maybe he will do it. What the hell do I know? I would sneak it if I was him right now. I'd probably just sneak the ball. And they didn't even need to. They didn't get in. Wow. I think I got. I did not. Did I really not get in the end zone there? You've got to be kidding me that that wasn't in the end zone. You've got to be kidding me that I did not get in the end zone there. What? Sometimes when you feel that your legs have taken you as far as you can go, dive out. Yeah, you just go ahead and elevate, right? And he tried to do exactly that, but he was met with pretty good resistance. No gain, correct? No gain. Incinerate Anthem. What's up, Incinerate? 
but for nothing to show. The crowd here I had a pretty fun uh, weekend with the whole Diablo release. I can't believe the Patriots keep allowing this like up the middle running to go on. That's the weirdest thing about this game. Like I thought the Ravens would be pretty tough and they could beat us tonight. But what I what I didn't think I would see is them just running these like delays and handoffs and draws up the middle. Like what are they what are, what are the Patriots doing? Like I can't believe that they're allowing these up the middle runs to happen. Like that they're not stacking people in the middle or like pinching towards the middle and then flooding the outsides and then even like Jesus. Like I I just I'm shocked by that. Like go ahead if you can get to the outside Go ahead, but letting him go through the middle is like no fucking way. Like just now, like they just let that guy roll into the end zone. I think the Patriots were more worried about knocking the ball out of his hand instead of keeping him out of the end zone. They were like, forget this, try to knock the ball out of his hands, you know? Try to get the ball from him right there. So they probably, if they had decided, let's knock, let's stack this guy up so he doesn't get in, they probably could have stacked him up so he didn't get in. But it seemed like everybody on the Patriots wanted more than that. They wanted to rip the ball out of his hands. And because of that, he got in the end zone, which I totally get because I'm I might have done the same thing. Been like, yo, let's rip the ball out of his hands instead. I get I get why that happened. But if they'd made the decision to instead, you know, just could protect the end zone, they could have kept him out of the end zone. Oh, no way, you fucking... Back, 49ers are about to start playing a tough team, though, too. 49ers have had an easy schedule as well, but they're I think they're playing somebody soon that's legit, finally. Oh my god. Over the middle complete. It's Harmon. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30. Yeah, they're playing the Seahawks. Okay, yeah, that'll be a tough one. It's the same as the Patriots. It's weird. They gotta play somebody too. Oh no! Should have intercepted that. The all pro safety knocking it free. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk Botch about Club, baby, on Instagram. But defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Well, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter. That was. Saw that coming. Taylor is fast, man. We've got a new Twitch follower. Hell yeah, take my pants off. Had to be. Come on, say it for me. Say it for me. Who picked up that pass? 
a free safety. Oh, you got to have those great skills back there. Eyes, anticipation, great hands. And, of course, how about the fluid moves afterwards to take it all the way to the house? Sounds like you're watching your old game film up here in your head. Yeah, Division well, games are always bad. tough, except for when... Uh, Except for the Patriots when they're playing the Dolphins, the Jets, and the Bills. We've got a new Twitch follower. Hell yeah, take my pants off. Uh -huh. This one's in the air. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now back out comes the offense. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try oh. to press the advantage a little bit. Is that be better with the football on this position? Last night didn't bother you too much last night. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Right 20! Right 24! From the shotgun, it's Vic. Oh, I, I manually switched to that guy. I should have left it alone. The computer would have intercepted it. I still should have intercepted it, but I didn't jump up in time. Brady's giving devil horns right now. Wow. Tips kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. On third down, Vic escaping the pressure right. He may try and run for this. <laughs> And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. It's just their first Who would think that uh, the Ravens would score 37 points on the Patriots' defense, though? That's the big story to me. Like, what the fuck? Like, is the defense what happened to the defense here? Like, 37 points? That's crazy. Like I, I thought the Ravens might win this game maybe, but I didn't think they would they could score that much, you know what I mean? But the collision came at the exact time. Defense needed to be fucking humbled for once though. But the Patriot the Patriots defense has have has looked scary as fuck. And you knew they weren't that scary. Like you knew they weren't that nuts. That they were pretty good. But they weren't that nuts. That they were just playing shit bums. And today, but, you know, you thought they would still be really solid today. Not scary, but you thought they'd be solid. And instead, they just, wow, they got mangled. That's the weird thing. Oh, boy. There we go again. It's Taylor again. The Patriots have games like this every year, though. Every time. Wow, this guy quit. Wow. Okay. See you later. Um, we have we have games like this every year. The Patriots do. It's like, and then everybody always says, "There's the fucking blueprint to beat them," or whatever. Uh, and then it's it doesn't matter. It's it's just one game. You know what I mean? It just it happens every year. The reason why it's interesting this year is because of how the Patriots played such shit bum teams. And now they had to play probably one of the top, the top eight teams in the league today, and they and look what happened. You know, what I mean, so it's one of those things. Like when the Patriots play a bad team, they beat the shit out of them. When the Patriots play a, a not very good team, they beat the shit out of them. When the Patriots play a team that's 
like kind of all right, but not there yet. Like the Bills, they just beat them, you know. But now they play somebody who's legit, and look what happened. So it's uh, that's the interesting thing about this. So what they'll have to do is they're going to have to beat Dallas. They're going to have to beat um, who else is coming up for us? Uh, Philly. It, the Patriots are going to have to beat Philly and Dallas. If they can beat Philly and Dallas, then it's like, oh yeah, we're fine. But if the Patriots lose to Philly and Dallas. Then it's like, wow, Patriots can't beat Baltimore, can't beat Philly, can't beat Dallas, but we can beat the shit out of people who suck. I'll tell you that. You know, that's so that's the interesting thing. One, two, three, four, five, six in a row. We're we're on six in a row here. Motherfucking six in a row. Oh, man. We're on a six-game winning streak right now. What up to Twitch? We're live on Twitch as well. If anybody wants to go over to Twitch and party over there. Party's wet. Country girl's over there. What's up, country girl? Man, the Patriots' offensive line just sucks. Lower, Ca Lower Canada Classic. What's up? What's up, Canada? Jay Tar is over here. What's up, Jay? Brandon God and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Well, I definitely uh, lost money today, I'll tell you that. I mean, I only, I only bet five bucks, but... Cool, that's what's gonna fucking happen. That thing's gonna fall the fuck on the fucking floor. Cool. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus you're giving up yardage. Oh yeah, the Giants are a mess right now. Defensively, a great time to dial up a blitz. And give him credit under center instead of throwing it away. Actually, a pretty good job of getting past the line of scrimmage, not losing yardage. We've got a new Twitch follower. Hell yeah, take my pants off. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage and mixed traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety? Coming up and making the big time play. Now a third down throw, but it misses the um, probably on my first loss, I'll switch games. Because uh, this is a six-game winning streak. I'm just going to keep going until I lose. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening drive. They'll indeed go for Oh, how did he catch it? I manually changed paths to go after him. Fuck me, man. Dude, Lamar is not that good, bro. MVP discussion? That guy barely fucking threw the ball tonight. He can barely... He just fucking lobs the ball to somebody. And then he, like, fakes a handoff and runs with the ball, man. What the fuck? Is he really that crazy? Like, I haven't seen his other games, really. Maybe I'm wrong, but... I don't know, man. 
Maybe because Mahomes is hurt or something. And, uh, I mean, maybe. Rodgers and Mahomes. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it maybe is. What up, Big T? Yeah, man, I'll come on. Hit me up again in email and let me know when or whatever. Is he pretty good? Maybe he's pretty good, man. Maybe I'm fucking stupid. I hate that style, too. It always fails. That's why I hate it. Eventually. Oh, my God. That was a crazy route that that guy just threw and ran. He had a perfect game. Didn't he throw five interceptions? At the two. He had a perfect game in the opener. Didn't he throw a fucking interception? Didn't he throw five? I haven't lost yet tonight, so we got to keep it up. Oh, fuck. Just let me know when you're when you can when you want me to do it or when you can do it or whatever. And he's gonna take this one up only to about the forty four yard line. He'll be brought down at the forty three. Joey Bosa in on the stop. You gotta love how there's a certain there's a certain wrestling YouTube channel that legit copies everything I do. Like they copy every or I don't know if I'm mean, they're not copying, but they're like they do the same show as me on every night. The guy used to watch my channel and then created a, a pretty successful channel. But it's like I noticed that they started a while back. They started a Wednesday show, like right up against uh, out of nowhere, and then. Like they did other things too that were like that, and it was weird. The the donations were similar and stuff like that. But then, now I see that they have a Sunday game stream. It's just like funny. It's like what the fuck, dude. It's like every time I do something, they have to do. They go up against whatever I do. Like it's bizarre. It's fucking weird. So weird. It's like they're purposely doing it, like on purpose. It's like Vince McMahon. In, in NXT and AEW. It's very weird. Very strange. God damn it. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. Slam routes effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. He'd have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. And a nice gain at 21 yards. Yeah, I'm the Vince. That's right. It's weird. It's like it's the opposite. AW is doing it. I just assume he's doing it on he's gotta be doing it on purpose. It's weird. It's probably just like I, I should do that too. And he's gonna be brought down on what'll be the final play of this first quarter. 
Well, this game is not going well. Six in a row could be over with after this. I'm like the Patriots. I'm about to lose on my seventh game. Or sixth or eighth game. Whatever the fuck. Whatever it is. We're about to go over to Twitch probably soon. Exclusively on Twitch. In a few it looks like. Good for seven. It's third down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. And he's got an open man. It's Gronkowski. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30 yard line. Soulful Angel, thanks for subbing to the channel. What's up? Second and nine. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. On second down, here's Wilson. We've got a new Twitch follower. Hell yeah, take my pants off. A good pick up there of 22. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well thrown ball. Exactly right. Have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. Well, there we see one reason why Bruce Smith was a first round <clears throat> Hall of Famer. As disruptive a defensive force as there ever was, 200 career sacks, two more than my college teammate, Reggie White. He was the number one overall pick, Bruce Smith, back in 85. And part of, of course, those Bills teams that went to four consecutive Super Bowls. Oh, boy. Second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the season, Those curls that the guy's doing on these deep routes, he's going deep. And then, like, the, the receiver's curling back or whatever you want to call it. Oh, man, there's no one to cover the run. Fuck me, man. What was my first Madden game I ever played? Uh, the first, the first one. <laughs> the punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him. Right? So you've got to go out and create some offense. I've been playing Madden since the first one ever came out. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, it wasn't his fault. I'm 35, so it's like... I've been playing video games since 1987, 1988. Ah, man, I just missed him. Oh. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. To throw it. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. A minute 59 to go in the first half. Back to Heinz Field after this. Hey, and a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. They will indeed go for it. And that's not offsides. All right. As Fuck me. Throws, and this is going to be incomplete. So certainly an interesting call. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Now a play fake here on first down. He hits that play every time. He hits that play every time. 
He beats the guy every time with that play. It's like the 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 the, the, the fucking safety or whatever just keeps running back. He never comes back. He never comes back. Thank you. He made a mistake. All right, let's go now. Let's make something out of this. My thumbstick just broke. A piece of my thumbstick is broken. I wore it out. All right, we'll go Hail Mary then. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Second down, Vic. Pressure gets to him and down he goes. Back at the four yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Uh, no run call here. They'll look to throw instead. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Come on, man. What the fuck? But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. A surprising move to go for it, and predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Again to Bell. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23 yard line. God damn, a winning streak's coming to an end here, man. Fucking goddamn six and seven in a row, whatever it was. playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore i gotta get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football because if it's popped up in the air it almost turns into slow motion and both sides trying to get to the football and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team so he splits the uprights and has to be a nice feeling right when it left his foot knew it was good yeah just like a good three-point shooter in basketball right release the ball fall back on defense without even looking you know it's going in the hoop and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk. This is a big decision here. On second down, Vic again. He completes it to Julio Jones. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Off the toss, Cohen. Xavier and Howard up to make the tackle. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. And the tight end Olsen right side. And prior to this third and two play, we're going to get a timeout called. As they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. New England on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. Here it's third and two. Now here's Vic. 
Push it. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Minka Fitzpatrick. And these guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Oh, boy. Final play of the half. It's Wilson. He lets it fly for Lockett. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach. Thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number four. Well, we were... Um... Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm on a six-game winning streak. I ain't going to quit. You know what I mean? Fuck that. I keep trying. This guy's blitzing hard, and I feel like my line, it's like, can't stop this fucking guy. The Jet, the Patriots' loss today was still like better than a Jets win. <laughs> like they look, the Patriots look better in a loss than a Jets look in a win. Yeah, maybe hit that uh, hit that like button, Jimmy. Super Chat Party. The Wrestle Daily Botch Club, Jimmy G, coming back. Yeah, we need Jimmy G back. Botch Club, what's up, Botch Club? Thank you. Check out Botch Club on Instagram and the Wrestle Daily on Instagram as well. Oh, I thought I was in the end zone. I didn't. I should have. Fuck! I dove for no reason. Something here, anything to seize that momentum back. 
On second down, it's Bell. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Here's Wilson to throw. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Five yards on the pickup, and it's a second down. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. Tyler Lockett. Oh. Touchdown. Tyler Lockett, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? And, you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. <laughs> And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. So the Patriots coming out now. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. A good pick up there, 26 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes Blitz coming, and down he goes. DeMarcus Ware, tough to handle on that blitz. He gets him for a loss of five. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Kendrick McKinney in there to get him. And this pass rush strong now. That sacks on back-to-back -back plays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Need something for deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Here's Vic. They'll leave it for Cohen complete. And he'll go down and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. That's to his running back complete. And Inside the 15 before they drop it. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. And you've been banned for calling the uh, Patriots cheaters. Look at that. Felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I looked down at my play sheet, and what I would find, the plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Throwing on first down, but this one winds You're a faggot. Incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. On third down, Vic. Flushed out right. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. And a field goal obviously means nothing here. They're going to go ahead and go for it on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Come on, throw the fucking ball. I threw the fucking ball. Of the afternoon. 
First down, Wilson. And his pass incomplete. He was trying to hit Thomas that time, and that'll bring up second down. This is fucked. I'm gonna lose my first game to this fucking retard. Maybe some fatigue. That First game of the night to this fucking guy. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Wilson. Wow, thanks, bro. And his guys are gonna take over at the 31 yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. What the fucking fucking fuck? Mark Barron in there yet again. My goodness, make it five sacks for him now in this one game alone. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Off the play fake, Vic. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held him in check on the scoreboard. On third down. That's Cohen. And some room to run now. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. I guess if you're going to run for it on third down, not a bad idea to get behind your Hall of Fame left tackle there, Anthony Munoz. He was so good, it was like a garden of tackle was in the same pocket. You know, as long as they had an extra block with the line of scrimmage. Phenomenal player and really prepped it well at USC. But they ran those power sweeps behind him in a big way. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Super Jack. Super Jack. Joe, what's good, Bruda? Now they'll run it on the toss. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll make it a second down. Play action now, Vic. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Joey Bosa in there to take him down and to take us to the two-minute warning. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. Now defensively here, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. Here's Michael Vick. And he's got it. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Greg Olson from 21 yards away. And the Patriots get a score closer. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? I'm so old school. What's been up, man? Thanks for the donation. What's been going on, dude? Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt. With a game I'm so old school is in the house. Super Jack. Super Jack. My Ravens own Patriots suck at Brady. Yeah, Triple M. What's up, Triple M? We knew it was going to be tough, man, but I didn't think you guys would do that well, though. That was crazy. Like, I thought we could lose, like, by four, by seven. I did not expect that, though. You know, that was crazy. That was really... That's the surprising thing, man, was how... how, how how the the Patriots defense played really was the crazy thing. Fielded about a yard deep. And he spins through. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25 yard line. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now whistles blow, and the Patriots are going to take another timeout. 
as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. Here's Wilson. Really? Oh, I know why I'm missing tackles. I have no fucking button. My hand keeps slipping off. Look at this. My button just broke. My button's been breaking the whole game. My hand slipped off the controller. Unfucking believable. There's no rubber. There's no rubber at all on the button. Look. The button fucking is raw. Holy fucking shit. Catch was made, put down right on the spot. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Unbelievable. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before. I gotta go find another button. Right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Dude, lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Yeah, Sanders now to return. Unbelievable, dude, this button. <laughs> Triple M, thanks for the $2, man. Magpole Mike still the top donation of the stream. What's up? I might have been able to get in the end zone there, but I didn't want to take the risk of running the clock. Super Jet. Super Jet. Joe, you excited for the new Star Wars game coming? Um, yeah, a little bit. We'll see. I'm not big into the in all of the Star Wars games in the past, but last time I liked the game a lot was Obi Wan on the original Xbox. What a catch! First loss of the night. Oh, oh no, it's not that we started with one loss. Actually, then we went on a six-game winning streak. But wow, there goes the the winning streak has come to an end. Why would this guy fucking call a timeout, man? He wants to throw a bomb into the end zone, doesn't he? He wants to pretend like he's kneeling. Maybe not. And they will take a knee here. And now here comes their final timeout. As they take it with eight ticks remaining. This was a hell of a game. And they take a knee. <sighs> and that will get hell of a game, man. This game. fucking fag calls a timeout. What a retard. Just for that, I'm leaving the game, you dumb fucking idiot. Fuck you. Well, six game winning streak comes to a goddamn end. Uh, I don't know why, but you're bothering me, so 
Fucking have a timeout. I'm going to take a piss, and then I'm going to come back, and I don't know. Maybe we'll see what happens. I'll be right back.
We've got a new Twitch follower. Hell yeah, take my pants off. Uh -huh. God damn it, all I want to do is fuck a duck. We've got a new Twitch follower. Hell yeah, take my pants off. Uh -huh. Fuck a duck. Fuck a duck. Oh yeah, I am streaming on both at the same time. Fuck off. Who the fuck made that fucking rule? What's up, baby? We are probably going to go over to Twitch only, though, in a few. Uh, Rob Harrison, thanks for the follow, man. Wickedo, thank you for the follow. And uh, probably going to be uh, jumping off YouTube and jumping over to Twitch soon, just only on Twitch. Denise, what's up everybody over there? Yeah, I got baby face going on. I got mo fucking baby face. Went up Finn's been sick, so he like slept earlier and now he's awake and he's like uh, 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 he's just coughing like a maniac. Can't sleep, so I was playing with him for a second. And then I changed his diaper. And hopefully he's going back to bed now. But he's pretty sick. If I get sick in the next week, we'll know it's his fault. What's up? What if the turkeys ate us? What if they filleted us? Corrupted podcast, good luck again.
I guess somebody thought Brady said the N-word. He definitely did not. But That would be so messed up. So messed up if that happened. What's up, Toby? I got allergies or something right now. The fuck's going on? My face is itchy. Had the fire going today outside. We had some marshmallows. No more nights. Blood and fire. Yikes. Sup? Mag pull Mike. Jesus. Still don't know.
Super Jet, Super Jet. Sending some love to your channel. Hard, 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 hard. Jesus. Fuck yeah. Tiffany Rodriguez. What's up, Tiffany? I I needed Tiffany as a coach in that Madden game earlier. Probably could have used Tiffany as the coach. She was coaching as usual, but like I I didn't listen. Let's still still trying to get those primals uh, or something better as far as the boots go. Still trying. I'm overburdened. It's like I'm so ready for the new Diablo for Diablo 4, but I will miss this game like, you know, what I mean if it ever trails off. Like I bet you I, I bet there's going to be a time where I go back what is this? Why is that overlapping this? That's weird. Um, you know, there's going to be a time where you just you just miss. Uh, going to miss this Diablo, but at the same, I mean, we're still look at how much there's still left to do. I mean, look, I don't have primal any of these. Still a lot of primals I need. Still gems that need to be leveled way up. Still other builds to be leveled up. I mean, there's still so much shit to do. It's kind of crazy in a way but yet not there's like nothing to do but yet so much to do still if that makes any sense you know it's just so weird should i put the goal up here we're getting close to the goal we're on our well not getting close but we're on our way to the goal a little bit we're 24 percent to the goal and it's midnight um but yeah we really uh let me see if I put that smaller. That's a little too big for me. It's a little too big for my my taste. I don't like the colors either. I don't like the color uh, the color scheme of it. Can I like make the colors different? That's I'll go with that color. I don't give a fuck to be honest. Uh, let's try the boots again. Try to roll the boots again. There's some greens. And none of them are what we need. I pulled out the claw, though. Everybody, what's up, chat? I'm dripping claw all over the place. I heard I was. I heard I was a cocksucker if I drink claw. But you know what? Fuck. I I drink anything and everything. I've drank everything. I've drank Jack Daniel's honey, fucking whiskey on these streams. I've drank everything, man. And and I'll just keep continuing to drink whatever and whatever. It just doesn't matter to me. I'm going to lower up some gems, level up some gems. I got to start like leveling off some higher gems. I have a lot of gems in the 80s and, and 85s. I need to start getting them all to 100s or 95s or something. When we go to Twitch only, we can play some music. What's up to Twitch? I'm so... I, I, I'm ready to talk Diablo 4, man. If you're game, like, let's go. Because I'm ready, man. It looked, it looked good, man. It did. It's just like... It's just disappointing that it's that far away. Like, it's coming out, it's not coming out. It's not coming out for a long time. I mean, we could be talking 2000... I, I thought we'd be talking 2021. And instead, it looks like we're talking 2022 or 23. Maybe worse. Like, that's not good. I'm almost down for like a release of a game that's like 50% ready. Like it's that bad. Like I'm almost down for that. And then like with with content patches, and like you know what I mean like a clear path of like you know, you're going to get the content that's unready early and in 3 months you'll get a patch that will unveil more. You know, I don't even fucking know. Why is that not popping people? What is going on? Fuck, I don't have my speed gear on. Oh my god. Oh my, just fuck off. Fucking idiot. Fucking really am an idiot. Thank you, Tiffany. Breakfast at Tiffany's. What gear do I have on? Oh, I got rings.
fucking allergies is really pissing me off. Jesus. It's all because I was outside today with a campfire? I can't believe I don't have my shit on. I haven't seen a Prime on forever. I haven't seen a primal in forever. Um, bah. what else can I level up? Um, I guess this. Oh, fuck. That was a mistake. Oh, well. Oh, God. I really need a focus. I need a good focus ring. And uh, it just won't happen. Can't stop itching, man. I'm so fucking itchy. It's insane. What's up, Mike? What's up, Mike? He always says hi to me, like the whole stream. Hey, 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 hey. What's up, Mike, again? There's like five mics. Do 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 do. Oh God, I'm dying. PM, what up, PM? I might pull out. Uh, possibly pull out PUBG. Maybe in a little while. I'm not sure kind of quiet tonight i might just fucking i don't know i might pull out PUBG, but i'm not i texted a few people and i don't know not feeling it maybe i might just call it a night or like head over to twitch i'm on twitch right now though i might just go twitch twitch style superman thanks for the host man appreciate that yeah i don't know how that guy was getting to me so quick earlier that, that was crazy Twitch, we're coming for you, Twitch. Coming for you. We're still testing ads on Twitch to see how they do. Um, we'll see how it goes. It's pretty quiet, though. 
We have been having pr pretty fucking epic uh, weeks on uh, the gaming streams, man. But uh, it's been a... Uh, you never know. I don't know. It's weird. It's very all over the place. Superman punch. Fucking kidding me. Fuck me. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Yeah, if you're subscribed on Twitch, you won't see ads there. It's <laughs> Haven't seen a primal in forever. Hell yeah, man. I was watching Diablo all day there, man. I was I was loving loving it. It's too bad we won't be able to play it for like three years. Free Hong Kong, yeah. Mike Bleasy, what's up, bro? Like a cock at night. Um, am I missing something here? Um... What the fuck am I missing here? Forgetting stuff, dude. It's been so long that I've... 
I'm forgetting things. Is it the Weeping Hollow? What am I forgetting here? I'm forgetting. What am I fucking doing here? What am I doing? Dude, what? God, fuck him. Fuck off, dude. Fuck off. Why am I doing that? What is going on? Old ruins. Like, what? Why could I remember where the fuck to go, man? Been trying to get cosmic wings for about seven thousand years. It just won't happen. Uh, I'll take the. Uh, I, I don't even have the icon. I'll take the icon. What's the guy's name who drops the uh, the uh, the rainbow icon? It's like Sir Patrick or something like that. It's like something like that. I don't fucking remember. I've probably run it. I've probably run this. Uh, this is probably the 500th time I've run it. Yeah, this is probably my 500th run. Like it's it's got to be around 500. No no rainbow. Searching for rainbow goblins. I've never found cosmic wings still. I've like given up on it so many times. See, that could have been him. What is fucking going on? I killed I killed evil Oliver. Yeah, Oliver's like the the stupid one that does, never drops anything. Instead of happy cloud, there should be unhappy cloud. That would be funny. See an unhappy cloud. I killed unhappy cloud. Nope. Whoa. Quiver out of the fucking gold bucket? That's weird. That's bizarre. I never usually see that. 
That's so weird. I just I, I like unveil. I wanted to like unveil the thing because I just, I just thought it was so weird. I think I pretty much covered this map. Mm. There's a little part I missed, but he wouldn't be there. Death's breath. Boy, that was another failed attempt. Failed attempt 1000. Joe Princess Lillian drops them. Yeah, Princess Lillian drops the cosmic wings. Sir William dropped Yeah, yeah, that's right. Sir William drops the portrait, yeah. I never I never seen Sir William's ass. Like I will never fucking see Sir William. Ever. That fucker. Ugh. <coughs> what the fuck is this guy talking about? Yeah, I was pretty bummed out about it. Dude. Pretty dead right now. Uh J J Oven Wayne or Joven Wayne? What's up, man? Which build, man? Sir Cardinal. What's up, Sir Cardinal? I was just running speed right now. This is what I use I do for my just speed when I'm just jerking around, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go back to the I can go back to rings. Um It's pretty good, man. It's just, you know, it's I'm okay. I need some help with I mean I need I need to uh you know, I need to do a little bit better here. I need to up some gems. My gems are weak, you know, I've got eighty eights and eighties and seventy sevens still in some of these things. Um but I don't wanna I don't wanna put any um gems in anything until I get everything at least up to a ninety or a hundred. Cause I'm I'm ready to get to that point now where I'm ready to grind uh, grind the rift to get the gems to at least 90, if not higher, and switch out everything. You know we got 75s, not, you know 76s, 73s, 89s, uh, 81. I mean all these gems should be upgraded to 95s soon. So that's one thing that's gonna happen. But right now I've just been kind of running these little speed dashes just to up some more gems and then just to just for just looking for loot really. Just messing around looking for loot. What's up DJM? Yeah, man, I shaved my face today. Uh, Sir William, yeah, I get it. What's up Cardinal? Wow, four legends drop at once? Or three? It's fucking funny. One pack drops all that. Dude. 
do. I can't believe they added torment levels. I still can't believe we're playing at torment 16. That's kind of hilarious. Probably could use one more or two more again. Just get it up to torment 20. Let's go. My nose is so friggin' itchy. My throat is itchy, too. One campfire, man. And it all goes to hell. Everybody, we are exclusively going over to Twitch. Make sure you guys are over on Twitch. If you're not, get over here. I am very excited for Diablo 4, but we're not going to get it for 7,000 years, so I'm kind of less excited for it. Um, all right, we're going over to Twitch, guys. Twitch.tv slash Joe Cronin JCS. The purple place. We call it the purple place. Come on over uh, to the purple place. 